hello welcome to my channel once again today I'll be showing you around a museum of ancient art in VR chat first of all I'm in my virtual apartment it's my home world in VR chat I didn't make it somebody else made it but it's absolutely beautiful and I love it so yeah let's go to the museum just have a quick look around so you can see my beautiful apartment <laughs> I just love this apartment I just want to show it off at every moment I can every opportunity anyway I'll see you at the museum so here we are at the Museum of Ancient Art in VR chat this is the creator and the map was made by Addy there you are a little computer here we can open it I don't know if we can use it we might be able to use it and it says welcome to the ancient art museum the museum contains 60 exhibits modeled from real life statues explore the history of ancient Greece Rome Egypt and Asia you can see the credits here I can hover on them so these are all the people that helped create it and there are some voice you can have voice notes as you wander around I've never done that but um, oh you have to pick up these headphones we, I won't do that today um, we'll do it another time okay so this is the entrance this is ancient Greece and Rome as you can probably tell and isn't it beautiful so it's full of luscious ancient art gathered from across the globe and which has found a home in virtual reality here in VR chat I've seen this before I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen this at the British Museum so yeah all of these exhibits I think they were carefully scanned 3d scanned and then recreated digitally this wonderful museum I think this is such a good idea I would love for every museum in the world <laughs> to have a virtual reality version where you could wander around and just look at everything because we may not be able to go to see those things in person but this is almost equally as good you get a sense of the scale you can see it from 360 degrees get a sense of the materials used artistry everything it's almost as good as being there <laughs> in my opinion wow what is this it's a very unique looking looking statue isn't it very it's very stylized what does it say it's it's a kuros of a kuros i don't know what a kuros is do not touch okay <laughs> I <won't> touch it <gasps> oh <laughs> if only that happened in real you could rewind time in real life as well damn be careful don't get too close to the exhibits you're not allowed to touch them look this is the shield of athena look look beautiful it's huge it's huge this is ancient Egypt and it's magnificent this reminds me of the ancient Egyptian room at the Met the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York where I would spend a lot of time I worked in New York for about a couple of months I think um, just helping out set up an office there for an archive in fact that I worked for and um, after work I would go to the museum at night and it was amazing because and it would look exactly like this lit like this in like dark with all these spotlights on the exhibits and I loved it there I absolutely adored it I wish I could go back but VR is just as good for now so yeah look how beautiful everything looks and the scale as well you get a real sense of scale amazing I love the way they make 
the stylized look of their work. It's it's very consistent as well. This is beautiful. Tutankhamun. What a beautiful statue. He must have been very beautiful in real life as well. Ooh. <laughs> Floor cleaner. Sorry. This is beautiful too. Look at that. I think a lot of the times you see statues with their noses missing. And I read, I'm not sure how true it is, but I read that it's because the statues were broad. The, the noses, sorry, were, bro were broad. And that was not the aesthetic that people associated with ancient Egypt. Apparently, I don't know how true that was. That is. But um, I guess these, the others, they're not broad. But then they are also intact. So, yeah. Who knows? Only history can uh, give up its secrets. <laughs> Maybe if we ask history nicely. Anyway, this is um, this is ancient Asia. This is India and various other a Asian places. What does that say? The Ming. Okay. Wonderful. Look at that. Oh, we can sit down. Let's sit down and have a look. I love sitting down in museums and just looking at stuff. Just having a broad, you get a nice broad view of everything and you can sort of scan around. I'm a bit of a museum's nerd. Look, this is from Assyria. I've seen this at the British Museum. It's beautiful. I think it's moved on now. I think it's somewhere else, but I'm not sure where. I remember reading that it had left and I was very upset <laughs> because whenever I go to the British Museum, I always look at this because it's so beautiful so well made look my goodness it's amazing look at these this must be a deity of some sort I'm not going to touch anything ever again do not touch oh shit excuse my language wow Wonderful. Look at that face. Oh my god. And those eyebrows and the eyes. She looks amazing. I think it's a she. There's a Pala period from Bengal, Bangladesh, or India. Bengal. Wow. Can you imagine being alive at the time that these were created? It must have been amazing. It was probably a hard life too, but amazing all the same. Imagine being the person who carved this, or they probably have a, had a team. Wow, oh, look. His hair, his hair's beautiful. Is it in like twists? Who is it? It's a, the Buddha of the future. He's from the future. See what they thought people would look like in the future. Are they right? Is that a mullet? <laughs> Maybe they were right. Wow, look. What if it had a third eye or something? I've got a huge gem there that's since been acquired <laughs> in some way. Oh, this is beautiful, look. All the detail. Lovely. Wow, this is beautiful. Is it a dancer? Their figures are very... I've noticed that they, their female figures can be very voluptuous. <laughs> they don't mind showing stuff. <laughs> Look at this. The detail. Wow. Where is this from? Kampal, Kathmandu Valley, Nepal. Look. Oh, it's beautiful. <gasps> so in awe. Oh my god, look. It looks kind of Looks fairly modern. This is from the Tamil. Wonderful. What else we got here? Look. Little diorama inside this rock. Seated figure. This is probably a Buddha. Yes. What a beautiful face. Look at that face. So nice. Wonderful. Everything in the oh, it's beautiful. Everything here is so beautiful. Look at those hands. 
So yeah, I would like for all museums to have a wow, look, to have virtual offerings like this. My life would be so good. <laughs> I could just spend my days traveling around museums virtually. And can you imagine people could have meetups here and talk about the art, sketch something like when they're at at home they could be sketching this and they could walk around you get a good 360 degrees 60 degree of it you, you understand the scale because when you see a picture of something say i saw a picture of this online it could be tiny it could be something you put on your desk but here you get the real scale oh, i'm kind of getting whingy now because it doesn't <laughs> not all museums have this but um yeah, it's beautiful. Even look, the marble floor is beautiful. Oh, we can change things. Look. Is it lighter? Wow, what's this? I don't want a mirror. No, no, no. Oh, it's much lighter now, look, I think. Anyway, so this was the Museum of Ancient Art. Created by Addy and voiced by all of these people. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tour and hope you do come and see it in VR Chat too. And I hope any museum curators out there, I hope you consider making a virtual museum because I would love it. And I'm sure lots of people would too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again. Another time. Okay. Bye-bye.